Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to come up with the rule for the inverse of a function. So in your notebook, I would like you to put down the subtitle, find the rule for the inverse of a function. Now prepare to be shocked because to accomplish this is extremely easy. All you have to do is first isolate the x, then swap x with y. And you can switch the order if you want. You can first swap x with y and then isolate the y. Let's take a look at this extremely easy procedure in action. Example. Suppose I asked you to find the inverse for the following rule. Suppose that the function f is defined by the rule y equals 2x plus 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is perform any required steps in order to isolate the x. So let's take a look. We're starting with y equals 2x plus 1. I'm going to move the plus 1 to the other side. So this will become y minus 1 is equal to 2x. And then I'm going to move the 2 to the other side. So the left side ends up getting divided by 2. And there we have it. This is the first step, which is to isolate x. Once x is isolated, all you have to do is swap x with y. So there it will look like x minus 1 over 2 is equal to y. So this step, swap x with y. And to write a proper conclusion, we can simply state that the inverse of f is represented by the rule y equals x minus 1 over 2. And we're done. Let's take a look at another example involving a word problem this time. So I'd like you to take a moment to get this down. The example involves a taxi charging $5 just for boarding and then 75 cents per kilometer traveled. Now I want to do a word problem with you because you have to get used to the language to demonstrate the nuances of the language when it comes to a word problem. I'm going to ask you two questions. They look very, very similar except for one major difference. Let's take a look at the first question. Question A. I would like you to find the rule that links V and, in an important color if you please, the total cost to V number of kilometers traveled. If you think very carefully about how this question is being asked, you should realize that the rule that you're going to write should show how the total cost is being affected by the number of kilometers traveled. Therefore, your rule should look like the following. Cost should equal to 75 cents per kilometer plus the five dollars just for boarding. And if you should decide to put it in terms of x and y, then this is also acceptable. y is equal to 0.75x plus 5, where y represents the total cost and x represents the number of kilometers. Now I'm going to ask another question, question b. It's going to look similar except for one major difference. Question b asks you this. Find the rule that links the number of kilometers traveled to the total cost. Notice that the biggest difference is that the two variables are in different orders. If you think about this very carefully, this time around, the rule should show how the number of kilometers is being affected by the total cost. In other words, the rule in question B is basically just the inverse of the rule that we found in question A. 
So let's take a look at the work involved. We're starting with y equals 0.75x plus 5. So the first thing to do is any required steps to isolate the x. So the plus 5 on the right will become a minus 5 on the left. And then the multiply by 0.75 on the right will become a divide by 0.75 on the left. And then the final step, just swap x and y. So the reversal tells us that if we knew how much we had paid in total, then all we have to do is subtract by 5 and then divided by 0 0.75 and that will tell us how many kilometers was traveled. So there it is ladies and gentlemen as you can see dealing with finding the rule of the inverse of a function is extremely easy.